Hello students, it's Dr. Mike. Uh, thought I'd give you a quick demo of something that's discussed in chapter two, which is stenography. So it's a form of hiding messages in plain sight. Um, and we actually, we had this lab in our uh, cybersecurity class. So I'll give you a quick demo. Here you can see I have a uh, image of the earth, center JPEG image. And here I have a secret. The attack starts at the 31st and there's a password. So I want to embed this into this image. So first off is um, ways that we use to detect changes in images is with a one sum earth.jpg. This is used in forensics, uh, integrity checking in several areas. Uh, in computing and, and uh, cryptography. We have this unique value based off several parameters from this file. So we'll see this will change after we embed the message. So there are ways to detect it, but it's not easy. You, uh, you need the original image to actually see this. So, so that's the original um, hash or SHA1 sum based off that. So first off is we are going to, and you can see I read this before, get information about the earth file. I'll say no here. You can see uh, we have a 5.5 kilobyte capacity. So we use something called stake hide, which is stenography um, to hide information. And it allows us to get information about our target file. So in the case JPEG. So we have plenty of space here, 5.5 kilobytes, it's a lot. And we have, of course, this uh, secret.txt, there's a secret file. Um, disk use dash bytes on it, 44 bytes, so we have way more than enough space to fit this. So what this is saying is uh, there's 5.5 kilobytes of sort of extra space here we can utilize in this file. So we could put a pretty big file inside there. So to embed the message, you can see here we are going to Steg hide. We're going to embed it with the source file in the JPEG, and we're going to use this external file secret.txt, and we're going to give it a passphrase. I'll call it secret, secret, passphrase is secret, not very secret, but for this case, it's fine. So it is embedded inside there right now. If we do another SHA1, on Earth, a JPEG, we can see that the value here has now changed. So there has been slight changes to this, even though if I actually open it in a graphic viewer, it looks basically the same. So the human eye, the pixels, the, the actual bits have been changed, um, we cannot detect. So in this graphic is a text file hidden. So let's go and remove this secret.txt file. So I remove my my uh, my secret so no, no one can see it. And I send the file to my target, and then they want to extract it. There we go. So my target, of course, the person I'm working with, we need to know the passphrase. So it was something we would set, set up um, beforehand. And of course, S-E-C-R-E-T. And I wrote a file called secret.txt. You can see I have now the message. And that's sort of a quick view of how stenography works. Um, it can be used in all kinds of places. It's a really fascinating area in cryptography and uh, sort of the craft work of spying and passing messages in plain sight. So. Fascinating topic, and it's been around for a long time, and I hope this demo was uh, at least a little informal, and thank you.